Recently, we discovered this forgotten footage from one of our very first shoots. Here's our recipe for scotch eggs from way back in 2019. Start with 8 ounces of ground pork meat, then smash, peel, and finely chop 3 cloves of garlic and add to the pork. Next, roughly dice one shallot. As you can see, we were still developing proper knife skills when we started. I promise they have improved since. Add the shallot to the pork as well, then it's time to chop a small bunch of green onions. You definitely don't need to bunch them up like this though. Not really sure what was going on here, just slice them normally. After those have been added to the pork, bunch up and slice about 50 grams of fresh parsley. This one actually does help to bunch up before slicing since it makes it easier to handle. At this point, you should also season the pork with salt and pepper. Something we forgot to catch on camera when this was filmed, apparently. This recipe makes enough for two scotch eggs, so place half the mixture onto a sheet of plastic wrap, then press it down. Fold the plastic wrap over, then use a rolling pin to flatten into a rough oval. Now place a peeled soft boiled egg into the center. For some reason, we didn't film the cooking of the egg, but all you need to do is boil your egg for six minutes exactly, then remove immediately and cool in an ice bath. Use the plastic wrap to fold the pork around the egg, then squeeze and shape the meat into a smooth oval. Now for the coating. Roll the scotch egg in flour so all sides are covered, including the ends. Next, dip in beaten eggs until coated, then into panko breadcrumbs. If you'd like, you can also add grated parmesan to the breadcrumbs for some extra flavor. While all this is going on, you should also be heating grapeseed or other frying oil in a large pot. The ideal temperature for the oil is about 410 Fahrenheit or 210 Celsius. Once it's up to temperature, gently place your scotch egg into the oil, then cook, stirring occasionally so one side doesn't burn, for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now you just need to allow it to cool down slightly before digging in. What do you think of this video from our archive? Have we improved since then?